Judiciary Committee, and he will be speaking shortly. This hearing is on the oversight of our artificial intelligence, the first in a series of hearings intended to write the rules of AI. Our goal is to demystify and hold accountable those new technologies to avoid some of the mistakes of the past. And now uh, for some introductory remarks. Too often, we have seen what happens when technology outpaces regulation. The unbridled exploitation of personal data, the proliferation of disinformation, and the deepening of societal inequalities. We have seen how algorithmic biases can perpetuate discrimination and prejudice, and how the lack of transparency can undermine public trust. This is not the future we want. If you were listening from home, you might have thought that voice was mine and the words from me. But in fact, that voice was not mine. The words were not mine. And the audio was an AI voice cloning software trained on my floor speeches. The remarks were written by chat GBT when it was asked how I would open this hearing. And you heard just now the result. I asked chat GPT, why did you pick those themes and that content? And it answered, and I'm quoting, Blumenthal has a strong record in advocating for consumer protection and civil rights. He has been vocal about issues such as data privacy, and the potential for discrimination in algorithmic decision-making. Therefore, the statement emphasizes these aspects. Uh, Mr. Altman, I appreciate chat GPT's endorsement. Uh, in all seriousness, this apparent reasoning is pretty impressive. I am sure that we'll look back in a decade and uh, view chat GPT and GPT-4 like we do the first cell phone, those big clunky things that we used to carry around. But we recognize that we are on the verge really of a new era. The audio and my playing it may strike you as curious or humorous, but what reverberated in my mind was what if I had asked it and what if it had provided an endorsement of Ukraine surrendering or Vladimir Putin's leadership. That would have been really frightening. And the prospect is more than a little scary to use the word, Mr. Altman, you have used yourself. And I think you have been very constructive in calling attention to the pitfalls as well as the promise. And that's the reason why we wanted you to be here today. And we thank you and our other witnesses for joining us. For several months now, the public has been fascinated with GPT.